Well, hello, and welcome to the crypt of the Mount Without. I'm Doug, this is Keep Art World, and we are here for the opening night of James Saywell's portrait exhibition. Enjoy. So we are in the crypt and I am with the artist himself, James Saywell. Thank you so much. And Thank you. one of the reasons we wanted to come to this exhibition was because this is James' first ever solo show. And can we just get a little at home round of applause? <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. I, of course, know what it means to put together a show, to promote a show, to uh, share your work. Um, so how are you feeling? It's, it's uh, early on, like, opening I mean, night, but... I'm like, su I was super nervous about it, and I'm like never usually that nervous about stuff. I'm quite cool, calm, and confident as a person, but like, I've exhibited and like displayed loads, but this again, this is my first time being just me. Um, so like, it's just natural worry of like, oh, that's like, people gonna like my stuff, people gonna like show up, blah, blah, blah. But regardless, like I'm super blessed to have it in a really nice space. And yeah, um, I'm excited to see what comes from this as well. So um, hopefully this is the first of many. Um, <laughs> so what, what inspires you when you make work? Uh, I quite like impulsive in the sense. I mean, I mean, I quite like a lot of standalone, just single portraits, just cause um, it's hard to describe. I think it like, I wanna promote kind of independence. Like, I feel like someone, if someone's painted on their own as a portrait, you know, they are quite a standalone, strong figure. So I kind of promote stuff like that. And um, I also just like the kind of combination of like realism slash abstraction. And also just like, I'm super obsessed by like the infinite ways you can create like different, well, portraits via painting basically. There's just so many crazy ways, like so many crazy I want to tackle, crazy, crazy ways I've already tackled. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of why the show is called Midnight and Infinite Worlds also, because I'm just, again, super obsessed with the infinite ways that people can create one singular thing from art, whether it be a portrait or a flower, or, you know what I mean? So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's your journey into art been like? Uh, it's, it's interesting. I mean, like, I, I've always made art, like, sometimes seriously, sometimes not seriously. Um, I'm never really sure what to do, but like, in life, really. So I mean, I've always been an artist. And I had a big break from like making art and I was life modeling a lot. So like, I was a lot of, always around artists, but then about three years ago, I was just like, what am I doing? Like, I love art. Like, I wanna just, well, I just took the risk to pursue it. And I mean, so far it's um, been going really well. I mean, that was about three years ago. So I've had some really nice commissions, like really nice opportunities to display. So like, I'm feeling super lucky that I can say that basically. I mean, some artists can't. <laughs> well, I can see why people are drawn to your work. Uh, you know, it's all about the passion and how you share a vision that people might not have seen in themselves. So, you know, congratulations on the show. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for taking some time out to talk with us. Oh, and anytime. Oh, thank you. And uh, yeah, James is keeping art it, and that's exactly what you should do. So we've just emerged from the crypt and seeing James Saywell's first ever solo show. And really, that's one of the things that we're really passionate he about here with Keep Art It is finding those early stage artists and helping them explore their ability to share work, share their vision, share their voice. And if you like that ideology, please share your voice and comment on in the sections below about artists you'd like us to go discover their work and discover them as people and creatives and and also please click that subscribe button because that really allows us to continue to go out and find people and engage and support so that's james you can find him on instagram at sayjam s-a-y-j-a-m-m uh, i'm doug this is keep art world and james is keeping art it and that's exactly what you should do